All right, joining us now, Mary Ellen Ostrander. She is a zookeeper uh, who lives here in our community. Has written a book called Puff the Sea Lion, a love story. And uh, I find your background pretty fascinating. I think yes. we all do. Well, thank you. Tell us about your. You're a zookeeper. I'm a zookeeper at Seneca <clears throat> Park Zoo, and I've been working with animals since 1985. And my book is about um, the unbreakable bond that you um, you get when you use positive reinforcement with animals that trust, respect, and love, and um, you get a great relationship that you can't even explain, mm -hmm. so you have to read the book. You lit up a moment ago when talking about the sea lions. They have a, a, quite a story. They do. They're, they're um, beautiful animals. The two at our zoo um, were rescued from, um, they were shot in the wild and rescued <coughs> and brought to our zoo, and now they have a beautiful life with us, and we love them a lot. And so, when you call it a love story, what do you mean by that? Um, it's hard to explain love. Um, when you go to work every day at the zoo, um, we go on Mother's Day, Father's Day, Christmas, Easter, when we're sick, when the animals are sick, and we take care of them through the rainstorms and the snowstorms. You can't help but have this bond that you look forward to seeing them, and they look forward to seeing you. So I call it love, and I think it is. And you ah. had that with Puff. I did, yes, very much. Puff is a, a, a real, he's a character, of course, in your book, but it's a true story. It's a true story, yep. He was very charismatic. People, um, they t talk about him all the time, that he's wonderful. Yeah. What is it about these sea lions? I mean, these are animals, I and mean, we've seen them before. I know we've, you know, we've been to the zoo, we've featured them before, but uh, they're special creatures, aren't they? They certainly are. Um, they're uh, very intelligent, uh, easily trained. Um, um, they... Uh, the two that we have, another two females, um, I, we've never had two from the wild before, mm -hmm. and I've seen a lot of natural behavior. Um, uh, there's a there's a pup at our zoo, and uh, the way the two females interact with him, they share responsibility of him, and that's r very rarely documented. Um, I only read one documentation where uh, ca wild California sea lions will adopt an, a pup that's not theirs. Wow! Mm -hmm. So I've seen a lot of this, and I've and I've been at the zoo for almost 30 years, and. Um, it's very, it's very new and interesting, and I can't get enough of them. I really can't. I can't. <laughs> you think that's a part of the training, or is that just something they, they're natural? They're natural, natural. Instinctual. Yeah, so in this book, it talks about natural behaviors and uh, things um, that I discovered and learned that I didn't know. Now, have you always trained sea lions, or have you trained other animals as well? Other animals. I've trained the polar bears. Uh, they're, they're the first... Um, I have to ask you then, because I, I think a lot of people might see this and say, wait a minute, these are wild animals. I mean, you know, though they are trained to do certain things, uh, as the sea lions are, um, these are still wild animals. You, you, even though you have a deep affection, you have to maintain a certain respectful distance too, don't you? Absolutely. Um, it starts Is that hard to do when you it, fall in love with them? It starts very mm -hmm. slowly. Um, it's so, as simple as giving them a treat and, and talking to them and giving them their diet and just being relaxed around them, being calm. and. Uh, and um, then, then we we uh, train them to come when they're you know call their name. Mm -hmm. sure. And when they come, they get a jackpot reward. Their their favorite thing okay. that they've ever had. Okay. And pretty soon they just they start they run sure. to you. They run to you. Ah. And it's that simple. And you're thinking, wow, that's different. No, it's the orangutans. It's the elephants. It's the um, polar bears, they sea know. lions. They they know their name. They're taught their name. And they and they 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 associate us with good times. Where can people get your book? Um, I have a website, puffthesealine.com. They can get it on Amazon. They can get it on CreateSpace. Um, they can, uh, a few stores are calling me. They're gonna be, it's going to be in little gift shops pretty Aww. soon, I hope. Um, so for now, that's, that, that, that's it. That's Th great. Those three and spots. one wonderful surprise, a reveal in the book, if you do end up getting it, you're saying a result of this wonderful love story. Uh, we won't give it away, but if you read the book, there's a wonderful moment. Uh, that's it's, you talk about. It's, it's an, unbra an unbreakable bond that you just um, you, you you only know it if you if you if you have an animal yeah. that you love, then you know. Now Excellent. we all three of us have <laughs> animals that we love, so we know we know what that's like. Thank yeah. you so much, oh, Mary. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to meet you. you. Nice meeting you. When we come back, excuse me, Hannah gives us a tour of the new Lego exhibit at the Strong.